Hi, this is some old guy coding again, and on this episode we're going to follow up on the laser. I've been trying to get it wired up to the system, and uh, uh, I came across a change in plans here. It really, it's my own mistake. See, what I was originally try intending to drive was, um, uh, to do, was to drive the laser from the plus 12 effectively out here, you know, coming from the power supply and the ground coming from the power supply and then modulate it with the positive on the D9. Well that will not work and here's why. I've done some reading. It turns out that um, I, I, when I tried it, let me step back, when I tried it all I would get between ground and the plus was 12 volts no matter what I set the fan level to. And that makes absolute sense because that's what it does. Um, D9, the positive side, is connected to plus 12 volts, and then it's the negative side that's modulated to ground to um, enable uh, the fan to run. So obviously that won't work for me. I suppose you could connect it to the ground side and put a resistor network in there to divide it down to 5 volts and invert the logic signal so that uh, you know the laser turns on when you have a lower fan well, I guess it would be laser would. Well, I think I have it backwards anyway. So, in any case, after looking carefully at the uh, at the laser I've got here, uh, that third signal is actually a PWM signal. So, and we know that it needs to be TTL from looking at the other board during the unpacking video. So, obviously, what I need to do is not send a voltage. Um, in there from D9. I need to send a PWM signal that's 0 to 5 volts. Now if the laser just ran off of power and different varying input powers um, controlled the brightness of the laser then then D9 would be fine. It would be isolated. Um, the problem is that I've got a plus and a minus and a PWM or control input. There is no common ground between D9 and the power supply so you really can't connect it up with a common ground so but conveniently um, the ramps card uh, brings out some uh, PWM signals for the for the uh, servos that are 0 to 9 volts and that's exactly what I needed so instead of driving it from D9 I connected to uh, ground and power like you would expect and then I just uh, ran uh, a wire over to uh, uh, this first servo connector here and before I plugged the laser in, uh, thankfully I did it before too, I checked to make sure all the signal levels were correct the uh, gr ground and the, the 12 volts to there between ground and the PWM signal um, effectively I get a varying voltage depending on uh, what I what I set in there because you know it's a, I was using a regular uh, multimeter to measure that so it's going to average that um, so it looks like that should work. So don't connect it up to D9 if you have a PWM input. <laughs> That's the lesson learned and thankfully I didn't. So why don't we take, go downstairs and take a quick look at uh, what, uh, what I'm using now to control that laser, the, the signals that I'm putting in, rather the uh, M codes, the G codes uh, to put in there and we'll take a look at that. All right, my apologies. I'm just going to freehand this to the due to the convenience of it. So, as if you remember before, I have uh, basically the the power or the lines from an extension cord coming up through here, so that I have uh, uh, plus five. Let me find the camera here. Plus five. Uh, the center thing is ground right right there, and uh, plus twelve. You, you got to love my wonderful taping job here with masking tape, don't you? Um, you know, I'll fix it up someday. Uh, probably not. Um, but in any case, I have this green wire, I believe that's the right one, the green wire right here coming out of, let me find the, out of this uh, former MIDI cable uh, down to the uh, control lead uh, going down to um, the laser. Now, <clears throat> if you're I'm having trouble with the camera today trying to keep it on focus, so if, uh, if you bought one of these Sunwind lasers, um, I went out and bought uh, some of these uh, fan uh, connections. Uh, it's actually a fan splitter that I hacked up to get this female connection here. 
And it turns out that the colors on the uh, fan splitter is different than the colors on the uh, Sunwin. They're on a different order on the connector. And of course I wired it all up up here before I realized that. And uh, I didn't have the right tool to pull the male pins in the uh, fan connector here. So what I did is I just uh, popped out the pins in the in the female side uh, that's connected to the Sunwin laser and rearranged them. So if you look at this, these colors are in a different order that uh, then it came from the manufacturer. So be careful, don't let that confuse you in this video. It's still, it's a different order, but it's still ground, power is red, and the PWM 5 volt signal is yellow. <coughs> And I've got that running all the way back here to the insides of my messy uh, ramps card here. And this is the PWM signal for the laser now. And that's attached to that first pin in the upper right there. I think that's pin 4 uh, PWM output. And I have the power and ground, of course, uh, connected directly to uh, power supply output, power and ground. So let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate how this changes brightness here with the PAWM signal. <coughs> Let me put a sacrificial target out there. As you see, I've been sacrificing this target already. But uh, I'm going to move this back so it's not in focus. So I'm not burning wood this morning. We'll actually take a look at that in a second too. Uh, I've got some plans for that. So uh, let me put my safety glasses on. Thank you, Norm. We'll power this guy up. And you may not even be able to see that, but there's a, a kind of unfocused, very, very light spot right down there in blue. I'm not sure if it's coming up on the camera. So a test for me, I've this has been plugged into the, uh, to the PC overnight. Of course, after I did some late night debugging last night. Let's try something. Let's unplug everything, power it off, and see what the startup state for that pin is. Now, the uh, ramps card is totally unpowered from PC through the USB or from, uh, from the power supply. And we'll go ahead and turn that back on. And it comes on full brightness. That's kind of unfortunate. We'll have to maybe take a look at the code in there to see if there's something we can do there. So I'm going to uh, focus uh, very closely on my screen down So I'm going to send it M42, P4, because that's the pin we're connected to, is pin 4, uh, S0. So that should turn everything all the way off. And there it turns off. Uh, we'll go up and do a P4, uh, M42, P4, S0. 255, and I should turn the laser back up to the full brightness there. Alright, and let's try something in between here. Let's do a 128 just to bring. Um, so it's going to be an M42 P4S128. It's going to drop it somewhat. You may not even be able to tell in the video there, but it did go down some. Let's drop it again. Mm -hmm. Drop it down to uh, M, uh, M42 P4S64. Oh, it went down again. Let's divide that in half again. We go 32. And the brightness keeps dropping down. It seems like it works. down to an S1, you know, and that just leaves a very, very faint uh, blue uh, dot out there. I can't even see it with my uh, the protective eyewear on here. <laughs> you probably can't see it on the video. So once again, let's ramp it up the pool. We're getting low because of here, but we'll stop now. Just going to ramp it back up the pool. There it is. All right, so I'm going to turn things off here. So there you have it, that seems to work.
in ESTL cam or ESTL cam, there seems to be a spot for a, a tab for lasers um, on there that we can set a, a laser code into for turning a laser on and off. So we'll take a look at that in a bit down the road here. But <clears throat> before I sign off from this video, I wanted to show you where I'm at. So obviously, um, with this thing making smoke, uh, the wife is not going to stand for that, so I have to do some sort of a smoke uh, extraction. And I'm trying to figure out, make sure I'm zoomed out all the way here, <clears throat> how to blow the air out of here. So I've got some stuff printing on the uh, 3D printer here for me. I'm going to use those connections to connect up to, what is it here? It's a, it works, I hope, or I works. Um, uh, leaf blower that was on sale at Menards for $15. Well, I sneaked that into the budget here. So my plan is to effectively, not in front, we'll do it in back, but effectively mount this on the box so that this air intake, which I've cut out the safety pieces down there, uh, will we'll go through the box using the things from the 3D printer, and then it will blow out the end here, and I will vent that to the outside using this uh, fancy new ultra cheap you know dryer dryer vent and, and some hose so obviously the end of this guy is a lot smaller than four inches uh, for the tubing for the for the white dryer vent so I'll have to build an adapter for that this thing moves a lot of air it's supposed to be 100 cubic feet 160 cubic feet per minute I suppose that's on the high setting, but it seems like it still blows pretty good on the lower setting. It's not terribly loud, but we'll get that mounted up and uh, maybe drill another hole over there by the uh, dryer vent to see if I can get another one out there and uh, see how that goes. I, I suspect it'll work. Eventually, I imagine it'll uh, the the uh, blower will die, but it was fifteen dollars, <laughs> so we can always replace it. All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope to do another video here soon. Uh, I wanted to do some pen work. I actually started a video with some pen work, but of course I slapped my delicate uh, pen holder there, and I need to print another one. So we'll continue on with that too, and look at some more uh, things with Estelcam. Thanks much. Find me in the camera here. Hey! <laughs> What kind of moron cuts a hole in the wall when it's three degrees uh, above zero Fahrenheit? There we go. Let's go ahead and knock that guy out so we can peek outside. <laughs> there, let's take a look out there. Pretty cool, huh? Three degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's a moron that knows that it's going to be 20 degrees colder tomorrow. <laughs>